it's that time of year again time to break out the mowers so this is a finished mower and i use it behind that little yen mower there and you remember i did a video on it when i bought this last year i got a pretty good deal on it because the front of this was all tore out and well after the use of it last year you can see i fixed it but all this broke back out again and it cracked down through there so we need to fix that but what's causing it is is this is a four foot finish mower and in that span they just got the wheels on each side there's no center roller here to lift it up so whenever it hits the ground it just digs in and tears that up you can see this is a mower deck off a uh, just a lawn mower and you can see it's got the center one which catches all that so the reason it's here is i'm going to steal one of them rollers probably off the back and put right here or should i steal two and put one here and one here i might do that anyways let's get this all fixed back up and then we'll cut some rollers off of this one Good night. I cracked all the way down through there. Let's see if I can twist that back out. right there okay it's at the point where I'm just gonna make it worse if I keep messing with it so we'll just clean that up weld all that back together
so that turned out pretty good that uh where that metal's bowed in right there i just filled all that in with weld i mean after all it's just a mower but last time i ground everything smooth and made it you know all look pretty but i got that metal really thin which is probably another reason why it broke so this time i don't know if you can see but i'm leaving it humped up i just kind of ground it down so now let's steal some rollers off of that mower deck It's in there perfect. Okay, so um, there's really no way to get this perfectly square and level because this bracket's not at a 90. It's at a weird angle and that's been in just a little bit. But I think that's gonna work to our advantage. I'll just line it up this corner with the top. Maybe if it'll stick. And then I will just tack it right there and weld it down through there. So get this cleaned up. See the other side should be about the same. At least the angle I cut that with kind of matches the angle of this pretty good, so. We'll just I might grind that down some. Alright, I got everything cleaned up, smooth the way I want it. So that guy will just Go like that there.
There those are. They turned out pretty good. So let's put the wheels on them. This wheel here was locked up, so let me tighten it down and see if we can't get that to come loose. I mean, it moves a little bit. Probably just needs a little grease. Big enough. All right, so that turned out pretty well. So, and you can see here's the wheel and the deck's up here. So it's just barely below it. And if I want, there's all these different adju height adjustments that I can put it on, so we'll see. Basically just to keep stuff from, you know, when the ground's uneven or if one side tips down in a hole, you know what I mean? That just dug into the ground. So hopefully those two solve that issue. So I'm going to grease the rest of this up and it's all fixed up. Well, I've done everything else. Might as well change the oil in the skew box. No, it doesn't have a drain plug on the bottom of it. I 
I'll have to tip it up on this side. Guess my uh, strap came loose. That stinks. This thing's pretty heavy. How much that thing holds? It's supposed to fill it up till it runs out that. All right, so let's see how this does. We got some uneven terrain right here. So, yeah, let's move up here. Maybe you guys will be able to see. Well, those work exactly how I wanted them to. They they sit up higher than these, so they're not on the ground all the time. But any uneven terrain or little dip where the, it's tilted down, normally the dirt would hit here, lifts it right up perfect. So, really, it should have just came with those. But, anyways, now that we got those, we should be good for the season. So, recently, I did a bunch of work on this tractor. I didn't film it, but what I, what I did was I put new brakes on it. Uh, changed all the fluids and filters and put a new battery in it. That's pretty much it. So this thing's good to go. Might find some turf tires for the back of it. And other than that, it's good to go. So you guys have a good day.